Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a requested video which is an updated version of my stationary essentials and favorites for note taking. Before I start the video, I just wanted to say that I am in no way saying that you need all of these items in order to take effective notes because you don't. The quality of your notes does not depend on the value of the stationery you use. I just wanted to show you the items I currently use for my note taking so you guys can get some tips and recommendations in case you're looking for new stationery items to buy. So with that being said, let us start with the first category which is paper. The paper I use is white lines. I use their link notebooks in the size A4 with squared paper. The pages are light grey with a white grid and the reason why I like this paper so much is because it makes both my writing and my drawing stand out better. This is by far my favorite stationery item. It just makes my notes easier to both read and review and in my opinion it also makes them look a bit neater. Next up are my favorite pens for writing. The first pen is this one from a store called Panduro. It's just a regular black felt tip pen and I use it for writing the headers of my notes. It's part of a larger pack of colors and since it is the store's generic brand, it's unfortunately not possible to get if you don't live in a country that has a Panduro store. A good alternative though that I've tried out is the Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen. The ink is a tiny bit lighter but otherwise it looks just the same. The next pen is the Pentel Energel 0.5mm needle tip and it is hands down my all time favorite pen for writing and it also has the quickest drying ink that I've ever come across so it is perfect for highlighting too. The only downside is that it can be a bit expensive so I usually buy it when it's on sale. I use it for writing my notes as well as for drawing diagrams since it doesn't smudge when I color. A cheaper option to the Pentel Energel are the Muji gel pens. They come in 0.38 and 0.5mm and I use the 0.5mm ones. It writes almost as smoothly as the Pentel Energel but it does smudge a lot so I would not recommend using it if you highlight. I just sometimes use it for writing my notes and I always use the Pentel Energel with highlighters and for diagrams. Another type of pen that I really like are the Pilot G207. They come in a lot of different colors. I have the red one and I mainly use it for annotating my notes and also for correction when I'm doing practice questions. The last essential for writing is of course a good pencil. I use this mechanical pencil and it is the Pentel Energize in the size 0.5mm. It is by far my favorite mechanical pencil. The soft grip is very low so it's perfect if you hold the pencil close to the tip like I do so you have very good control of your writing. I mainly use it for doing practice questions but I also use it in note taking for sketching diagrams and mind maps so that I can plan out the layout of my notes in advance. The lead I use is this HB lead from Pilot. It is the absolute cheapest one but it works perfectly. The next category is erasing and correction and here I'm just using the cheapest products from my local bookstore but they actually work surprisingly well. The eraser I use is this Faber-Castell one. It is cheap and it works so I couldn't be happier with it. When I write with pen I use correction tape and I use this Prit Compact Flex correction tape. I prefer tape over correction fluid as it dries immediately and it's a lot smoother so you can write on top of it and this is by far the tape that works the best in my opinion. The next category is annotating. When I take textbook notes I like to start by going over the current chapter and annotating it and I prefer to use erasable pens and markers for this. The pen I use is the Pilot Friction Clicker Erasable Gel Pen in blue and I also use the Pilot Friction Pastel Highlighters. 
The colors of some of these highlighters are very weak, but the blue and orange ones, they work really well. Using erasable pens is great if you may want to sell your textbooks when you're done using them, or if you're using borrowed textbooks. However, they may leave a faint mark, so if you are borrowing textbooks at your school or university, I would recommend asking your librarian before using them. The highlighters I use for my notes are the Sebra Mild Liners, and my favorite pack is this one, which is called the Warm Pack, I believe. The highlighters are double-sided, so they work well for both highlighting and underlining, and they bleed very little compared to other highlighters like the Stabilo ones. They pulled a tiny bit on the regular thin paper I used here, but they do not show through at all when I use white lines. Here you can see I've used them for highlighting subheaders, and I also sometimes use them for coloring. The final category is coloring. When I take notes, I like using a colored pen to write important terms and definitions, and the pens that I use for that are the Stabilo 0.88 fineliners. They have a 0.5mm tip, and I do prefer these over the Stedler Triplus fineliners, as I find that the tip of the Stedler ones can widen quite a bit when you've used them for a while. But the Stabilo ones write very smoothly, they come in a lot of different colors, and the thickness of the line does not change no matter how much you use them. Finally, here are my favorite brush pens, which are the Tombow brush pens from the Pastel Pack. I know it is a bit over the top to use brush pens for note taking, but I got these for Christmas and since I don't do brush lettering that much, I figured I could still put them to good use by using them for my notes. These pens have a brush tip and a fine tip and they can actually be used for several things when you're taking notes. I've used them as highlighters as well as for underlining and at the moment I mainly use them for coloring in my diagrams. The Tombow brush pens can be a bit expensive though, so another type of cheaper brush pen that I also like are the Lyra Aqua Brush Duo pens. They don't come in as many colors as the Tombow ones, but the quality is just as good. But as I said, you don't need brush pens for the sole purpose of note-taking, and some other pens that I've previously mentioned that work just as well for coloring are the Sebra Mild Liners and the Panduro Markers. So that is it for my current stationery essentials and favorites. I hope this video was helpful and that you got some tips for stationery items that you may want to try out yourself. As always, thank you so much for watching, happy Easter and I will see you next week with another video.